Steven Jackson, NBA, 14-year NBA champ with the Spurs. I got to ask you a question. Let's bring him out here. So we're talking about this. If LeBron goes to the Lakers, right. they'll never love him like Magic or Kobe here. Do pro athletes care about that? Go Being ahead and loved? grab that, Mike. Does that, does that matter? Being loved? Being loved. Uh, it depends on who you're asking. I don't care. I didn't care. I didn't care about being loved by nobody. You wanted to my win. My mama loved me. Your mama loved you. Yeah, that's all that mattered to me. <laughs> and my kids love me. I could care less about other people. Okay, so you don't think the whole thing about LeBron to L.A., they love Kobe more, they love Shaq more, they love Magic, doesn't matter? No, no, it don't matter. Because right, he went to Miami. and Because he's still loved by just probably the same people. Okay, <laughs> that's a good point. Warriors and LeBron, would it make you sick? As a competitor, I wouldn't like it, but I'm one of those guys that only losers – Except losing. Only losers understand losing. If somebody wants to win and put themselves in a better situation to win, I respect that totally. I respect that. It, you're about W's. Winning is winning. Regardless of where you winning at, how you winning, winning is winning. Point blank. If I said one year from now, if you, I think I asked you this the other day, mm -hmm. you now are LeBron's agent, and I come to you and I'm like, listen, man, Maverick Carter, Chris, R R yeah, Paul. Rich Paul. I'm like, dude. I've thought about all these. I'm on the fence. What do you think? What would you answer him? Go to San Antonio. You're the second guy on this show today. I would say that. I mean, I, it's, it's a great situation for a number of reasons. Why? He's never played for, the, for a Hall of Fame coach. We're talking about the best coach in the game. He's never played with a player like Kawhi Leonard, the best two-way player in the game. He's never played for an organization like the Spurs. You know, Miami was good, but it's, it's, it's a different situation in San Antonio. You know, it's, it's, it's more family-oriented. You know, they, they, they've been this way for a while now. And uh, I think going there, it won't just be about basketball. You know, they'll, they'll give him other keys. You know, um, Peter Holt, he's a real successful businessman. There's ways that LeBron can get in with him and get more money out of basketball. Do they have enough good players, though? Yeah. LaMarcus Who? Aldridge, Kawhi Leonard, that's two better players than they have on their team now. Yeah, I know Lamarck. I don't know. They got a, a great young young point guard. Who? That's growing up, Murray. Uh, he, he's going to be good in that system. Murray's going to be good. Pop loves him, and they can always add people. You know, when you got guys like Kawhi and LeBron and Lamarcus Aldridge, you just add pieces to fit in. And Pop's been the best at doing that. He's been finding players in the second round, and and at the end of the first round, has been stars. Ginobili, you know. So so Pop is good at finding guys that fit in. What did you make of Kevin Durant last night? This is this is what he done game one in Houston. You know, he's been their best player on the road. Obviously, Steph won, won uh, the game in uh, Houston for him, game, game seven. You know, he played well. But KD has been the, 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 the silent assassin all year. You know, this is what he does. He plays great on the road. And this is what they brought him here for. You remember last year? Last year um, in, in, game, in, game, uh, in game three, he played big and hit that big shot. You know, the only reason Cleveland even won a game last year in the finals was because they shot 53% from the field and 53% from the three-point line. They had an amazing game, and they had Kyrie. You know, uh, KD, and he, and he won that series, so he did the same thing this year, just was dominant and showed why he's one of the best in the world. You know, the funny thing about Duran, I was texting somebody last night, and I said, you know, when, when, when Curry hits for 33 points, you know it. Right. When LeBron has 43, you feel it. Right. There are guys in this league, if Iverson dropped 40, you felt every point. If Kobe had 50... Scoring is so easy for Durant. Mm -hmm. Dude, he dropped Stephen 28, and I don't remember two baskets. Quiet assassin. He, he, I, honestly, like last night, they're like, oh, he's got 36. And I'm like, I remember like four baskets. Mm -hmm. He's not super vertical. He's not a flashy player. Not at all. He gets about a dunk a game. I think sometimes he's a victim of his gifts. It's so easy. Yeah, we, 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 and we've never seen this. We've never seen a, a seven-foot guy that can shoot. Mid, he has the met best mid-range game in the league. In the league. In the league at Be seven foot. Better than any guard in the league. Any guard in the league. And if you've seen the movie came down where he crossed over, went, did another move and pulled up as a seven-footer, I think everybody in the world was at awe uh, when, when we saw that move last night in the game. Even all the announcers that were announcing the game, like, we've never seen this before. And it's special to see how he uh, – it, it makes it easy. He knows his game. Turn around, I just shoot over you. Can't nobody block a shot. Would you struggle if you were LeBron leaving your hometown for a second time? Absolutely not. Listen, before I came around, there was no championships around here. I brought one to the city. I did what y'all asked me to do. It's nothing more. There's nothing more for me to do here. You know, I, like I said, y'all asked for a championship. I came back. You know, I brought I brought great players with me, and I brought a championship here. Now, 
it's a, it's a, it's a uh, situation where I have to make the best decision for me and my family. And uh, the city shouldn't be mad at him. They should support him. Where are you from? Where's your hometown? Port Arthur, Texas, home of UGK. Rest in peace, Pimp C. I don't know what happened there, but I liked it. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, no, that, that is I, – I, I, I do like your point, though, that um, – I, and I agree with you, is he came back. Listen, man, they don't win championships in Cleveland. They just don't. They have it. And they got one, and it's all good. Steven Jackson. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.